Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th. Timing is fluid. The Emperor. The Emperor is all about structure and organization. So it's about uh, getting organized, taking charge. Making a decision. We have a decision maker here. the sun. So this is a new beginning. We have a new beginning. Now the emperor can be a father. Somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a decision about happiness. This is a breakthrough. Okay? This is. This is this is a beautiful new beginning. Extremely beautiful. This is a life-giving energy, so interesting. Somebody is making a decision in regards to their happiness. This is a positive change. This is the boss, okay, being the boss. Ooh, King of Pentacles reversed. Now, the King of Pentacles reversed is laziness. Unstable, insecure. We have somebody here that is letting something go. Maybe they're letting go of something they were holding on to. And it could be materialism, something, yeah, they're let, somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to that was, uh, it was something that they could hold, that they could touch. It was materialistic, you know, it was something uh, tangible, it's being, being, I don't know, if it's being let go or it's slipping away or they're just not interested in it anymore or... King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's not very practical, may have overspent, done something stupid, overindulged, or something like that. Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Well, we know who she is. She's, uh, vicious. <laughs> Queen of Swords is vicious in reverse. We have some people here. We have a few people involved. Um, hold on, let me get one more card. Ah, okay, okay, so we have an ending. We have an ending. We have an ending of a partnership that was probably, because these are part, this is a couple, okay, this is, this is a couple, and this is an ending, um, Endings lead to new beginnings. This person is vicious, very spiteful, revengeful. We have an ending that leads to a new beginning because we have a new beginning here and a new beginning here. So the decision is being made to let go of this uh, nasty individual. Um, we talked about this yesterday, so this must be a part two or something like that. The decision is being made, okay? This is a decision maker. Could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a father, a father figure, okay? This is a father figure. It's a masculine energy, but we all have masculine inside of us, so it could be a male or a female. But anyhow, this is a loss. It definitely is a loss. So we definitely have a loss here. Um, because happiness is more important. Somebody is choosing their happiness. 
I feel like, you know, when you get the Queen of Swords in reverse, there could be some harsh news that is coming as well about an ending. It could be surprise. It could be surprising news. Uh, there's definitely um, a transition here. And it's actually really beautiful. This person has seen the light, has become enlightened. Because this is enlightenment. Has to do something with materialism. Somebody may have gotten in a partnership for the money. This is clarity. So somebody is definitely receiving clarity. They're going to see clearly. Um... But we do definitely have a new beginning here as well. But this is separation and loss. So there's a separation and loss that leads to the new beginning. And the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is just nasty. That you can't work with. That somebody has been working with an individual that is really hard to deal with. This person lies a lot, makes things up, uh, doesn't communicate well. That's ending. That is ending. Yes, this person is deciding to, to uh, go after happiness. This is happily ever after. I think we, but you know, in order to do that, they have to let go. They have to let go of something. And I feel like they're letting go of something that was based on financial security anyway. Okay. It was, but now there's been some sort of breakthrough And all they want is happiness. I just I just want happiness. So we do have a new beginning here that leads to happiness. There's no doubt about it. And it's extreme happiness. Because this person makes a decision, uses their head, not their heart. This person is showing no weakness. It's like, I know what I want. Taking a very mature approach. Somebody is taking control of a situation. Hmm. Oh, it's not fair. There's been some sort of injustice here. There's, there's, there's a lack of balance. There's a lack of fairness. This isn't, this isn't fair. Some, there's, this something is, is unjust. Somebody may have act, this guy or woman or whoever the hell it is, acted unfairly, did something, uh, that wasn't right. But now they're seeing something differently because they've got some sort of clarity, but this is not fair. This is something isn't fair. This is, this isn't, this is, uh. Not happy with the outcome. There's been some lies. Somebody has been, there definitely has been some lies. And the universe is in control here. The universe is pushing for this enlightenment, put it that way. There's, there's been a lack of accountability in a relationship. Somebody didn't want to own up to the truth, but now they're ready to. There's definitely been some dishonesty here. Ah, somebody's taking a leap of faith. They are, they're taking a leap of faith, they're taking a risk. They're facing their fears. It's almost like trying to rectify a bad situation. They may somebody may have been lying to themselves, you know. It's funny because I'm rubbing my heart, so I don't know what that is. I mean, there's some sort of, and the sun does represent the heart. So somebody's getting a change of heart, or there's some heart issues here. 
This fool is a spur of the moment decision. Acting on impulse. And the emperor can be impulsive as well. So I think somebody is making an impulsive decision to end something that or to let go of something that was based on materialistic value it wasn't based out of love okay and now they see clearly that it wasn't and it, it may have to do with another person that they got engaged with or that they worked with i don't know why i don't know because of materialism because there was some sort of materialistic value. That's why they got involved. But now it's coming to an end. That partnership is coming to an end. It is. It could end abruptly. It definitely could. It could be an abrupt ending. Somebody makes a decision. It is un... It's, it's like... All of us, I think it's all of a sudden they make a, a sudden decision to uh, take charge of a situation that there was. It's like there's an argument where there was no resolution in sight and they just decide to break free. This is freedom. This one is too. This one is too. So we have freedom here. Freedom, freedom, freedom. So we have some somebody that is breaking free from an unbalanced situation where there's been a lot of uh, lies. There's been lies. There's been... Uh, materialism it's 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 almost like this is tens are completions by the way and this is a completion too so and this is a new journey so somebody's taking a new journey they're ready to start over they're ready to heal a relationship and maybe it's with a family maybe it's with family i feel like there's there's uh It feels like there's a sudden desire to leave everything behind because the fool to start a new journey leaves everything behind. Somebody may be saying this isn't fair. You know what I mean? There could be people in the family that are saying this isn't fair. This guy makes a decision, guy or gal, makes a decision and other people don't agree with it. They don't agree with the decision, but it's his, his or her decision to make, to go after their own happiness. So a decision is being made. Somebody, it's almost like they've, they've reached a higher vibration. It's almost like they've ascended to a better place within themselves, you know? Ooh, the moon reversed. Now this is truths are revealed. This is a reality check. It is a release of fear. There's been some self-deception, but now there's clarity. There is clarity. Somebody has gained clarity in regards to their happiness. And I think that they are making a, I, think, I feel like it's a very sudden decision to leave something behind. They're, they're saying no. I'm going my own way. Stepping forward into unknown territory in blind faith. This is this is definitely a release of fear. It is. Somebody is letting go of their fear and taking charge of their life. This person is ready to fight. They're ready to battle, to do whatever it takes to be happy. And I think that they, you know, have been lying to themselves about a relationship that they were in, you know, pretending that it was happy. 
you know, but, you know, it was only based on materialistic value and they were dealing with an individual that they didn't even love because, you know, this person was hard to deal with, but there was a materialistic value with this person. Anyhow, it was somebody to hold on to, put it that way. Not a match made in heaven, put it that way. Definitely not. Anyhow, that death card is a profound change, a death, an ending. There's a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. And somebody's about to get a reality check. The truth is about to be revealed about a... Uh, somebody's decision somebody is, is is gonna be saying or they're just gonna be leaving they could be leaving without even saying goodbye they could they could just leave they just be like you know they don't even say goodbye they just leave could be dealing with a Libra could be dealing with a Scorpio Pisces Aries Leo Aries is here a couple times Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I said Pisces, Cancer. Um, there is a release of fear here. Somebody is stepping into a whole new world. They're taking a new journey. They're leaving everything behind. They just don't want it anymore. There's some sort of travel here. Somebody could be traveling to a better place, a warmer place where it's just more beautiful, whatever that means to you. A uh, decision is made and, and I feel like there's no turning back and I think that there's somebody that's going to say this isn't fair this isn't right not somebody obviously is not going to be happy with the outcome that this person has made now the emperor is a pers is usually a judge or a ruler or a father or somebody that is in a position of authority that has some sort of upper hand could be a business owner um, a manager this person is is highly respected is known for making good decisions typically but obviously didn't I mean, we only learn from our experiences. So, and the emperor becomes experienced through poor decisions. So, somebody has made some poor decisions. They have. And they may have, uh, have tried to hide. They may have tried to hide things, you know. To hide, there's lies here. There's a lot of lies here. Lies, lies, lies. Okay, there's lies. Lies. There's lies. So, somebody has been lying. They've been lying. And, uh, but now they've be, they've seen, they see something more clearly. They see it very clearly. They see it very clearly that this is not balanced and they just want to leave. And I feel like somebody is, is, uh, oh, we got the Ace of Cups and reversed on the bottom. Okay, so they're giving up. They just don't want it. This isn't love. This isn't love. And I think there's going to be some tears that are shed. This is this is emotional shutdown. It's loss of emotional content. It's emotional blockage. They're shutting down. Somebody is shutting down. And it may have something to do, like I said, with a heart. Okay. Um, it does have something to do with the heart. It, it's all about heart. It's all about love. It's all about happiness. So I do feel as though it's going to be a very emotional day. Okay. It's going to be an emotional day because a decision is being made, uh, to let go of something that is no longer valuable it's not valuable it's not solid it's not stable it's not realistic it's not practical it's not grounded it's uh not logical it's not uh easy it's too much it's uh there's a lot of bitterness there's a lot of hate anyhow somebody is letting go of a i feel like it's a partnership that was built on 
not love. Okay? They are starting fresh. They're leaving it all behind. This is this is free. Free from an unbalanced situation that was based on lies. So yeah, somebody is breaking free. They're leaving all the baggage behind. Somebody's about to get a reality check because truth is going to be revealed about, you know, a person. Somebody's going to speak the truth. They're going to speak the truth. Oh, my God. That is, oh, my God, right there. That's, that's, ex that's extremely stressed out, worried. There is definitely a profound change that is coming. We have an owl, which symbolizes profound change. It's a symbol of death. So we have the end of a situation that it is. And I think that this has been a long time coming. This has been extremely stressful. This is sadness. Guilt. I think that there's, and there is guilt. There's guilt here. Somebody feels really guilty. And that's aiding and helping them to make a decision to end a relationship that on the surface looked great, but below the surface sucked. Ah, we're done. This is the end of a contract. It is. This contract is over. This is a separation or a loss. It looked really good on the surface. But it wasn't real. And now it's over. Get prepared for some sort of truth to come out. It may not be what you want to hear. But it's what this other person needs to be happy. Good luck.